Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this brand new version of mini CPM on our local system and then we will do an inference with a video to see what is happening in that video. So this is primarily a text to video and text to image model and according to the model card of this, it is saying that it is it has beaten GPT-40 or at least it is equivalent in performance when it comes to multimodality with GPT-40. This is a tall claim because GPT-40 is a mega mega model whereas this model is just 8 billion parameter in size. So it will be really interesting to see how this works and we will test it out. So this is the latest and most capable model in the mini CPM V series. The hall of uh, fame for this model is that you can easily run it on any of the mobile devices it also shows a significant performance improvement over the previous version 2.5 and introduces new features for multi-image and video understanding and in this video instead of image i'm just going to go with video understanding and then because if it uh, primarily primarily what these models do they just convert the video frames into images and then go from there this model has achieved an average score of more than 65 on the latest version of open compass which is a comprehensive evaluation benchmark over eight further benchmarks with only 8 billion parameters it surpasses widely used proprietary models like gpt4 o mini gpt4 v gemini 1.5 pro and claude 3.5 sonnet for single image understanding so the claim is for single image understanding to be a specific also it offers multi image understanding and in context learning and it can also perform conversation and conversation and reasoning over multiple images it achieves state of the art performance on popular multi image benchmarks such as mantis eval blink and few others mini cpm version 2.6 can also accept video inputs performing conversation and providing dense captions for spatial temporal information and um, even if the video is without subtitles it still can uh, understand it and its ocr capability is also quite good it can process image with any aspect ratio and up to 1.8 million pixels which is quite good in my opinion in addition to its friendly size mini cpm version 2.6 shows uh, state of the art token density token density means number of pixels encoded into each visual token it produces only 640 tokens when processing a 1.8 million pixel image which is 75 percent fewer than most models and of course lower the tokens the number of tokens the lower your cost will be and that improves the inference speed uh, first token latency memory usage and power consumption it can also support uh, very efficiently real-time video understanding on end side devices such as ipad or iphone okay so let's try to get this installed and then we will see how it uh, works now another um, okay let me before that let me give you a, a huge shout out to mesh compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their videos description um so website description uh, i will drop the link to their website in video description and i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus okay so now let me take you to my terminal where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 courtesy mass compute let me clear the screen first up let's create a conda environment where we'll keep everything separate i'm just calling it mini cpm with python 3.10 and now let's create all of the prerequisites which include torch torch vision decord and lot of other packages let's wait for it to get installed All the prerequisites are done. Let me now install Jupyter Notebook and launch it in the browser. And there we are going to download and play with the model. So let's wait for it to finish. Let's import 
some of the libraries which we have just installed and then download the model with its tokenizer and you can see that we are going with this version 2.6 here so let me run it and it has started downloading the model the model size is quite decent as you can see there are four shards and i don't think so any shard would be larger than this 4.87 gig and the model plus its tokenizer has been downloaded next up let's define a function for the frames and i am setting it to 64 we'll see if it works if it gives us out of memory error or double om error then we'll just reduce the size but let's start with this one also i have given it the path to one of my uh, sample video demo video mp4 file from my local system and then we will be using it to encode it or convert it into frames frame by frame so let me run it and that is done that is good let's decode the video so as you can see if you go above you will see that we have uh, just g given it this encoded video and nothing else and then it has just converted it very easily into the frames and now in order to talk to this video all you need to do is to just give any prompt like i'm saying describe the video create a prompt template define some of the decoding parameters and then again if you get any uh, out of memory error just set it to one instead of two and then see how it goes it is going to use model and tokenizer to get the answer back and we will print it out i'm just going to start with the two now before i run it let me quickly show you the video which i'm going to use so the, this is a demo video in mp4 format on my local systems so this is just a random demo video which i have downloaded from mini cpm's github repo you can use any video of your own okay so this is a video which i am going to check out okay where is my browser this is my browser so let me see uh, what this model uh, sees in it in this video and what sort of answer it gives us and it has returned us a response and I have just set the slice term to one because it was giving me an out of memory error and now you see it is telling me that the video shows the sequence where one side of screen displays an indistinct blurry bit that's right while the other side consistently features a hand performing various sections such as forming a fist and manipulating what appears to be a small object or device the setting seems to be indoors with neutral lighting so if i go back here and then play out this video you see that is correct there is some device it this guy is holding the other one is quite blurry so it is just doing some hand movements and stuff which is quite good i think um for the given model 8 billion parameter model you can do now video to text or you can just uh, amazingly you can talk with your videos with the help of this model so quite good in the next example what i did I have just grabbed my own video from the channel which I just did I haven't published it yet let me play this video first so this is just a um, new paper which has come up React Foundry and the video will be out very soon so this just describes the paper what happened and all that stuff you see so this is a video now let me go back and then I have given it this video and I will run it and you just see how quick it is it is still running at the moment you see with this derrick how quickly it <clears throat> processes this over eight minute video how quick that is to convert it into frames it was very very quick these are the number of frames and let me run it again this entrance so it is doing the entrance and i just want to let it run in real time to <clears throat> show you how quick this eight billion parameter model is and it is processing this video so this is simply amazing and that's all done i think took around seven to eight seconds and there you go so it has just given me the whole synopsis of my video that it showcases a sequence of static images related to rag foundry a python based tool for creating data augmented training data sets the first frame presents a dark themed user interface with various sections such as readme and all that stuff transitioning to next image because it is going frame by frame another screenshot from soft same software environment lines of python script related to data set loader because i was showing vs code it says that throughout these frames there are no camera movements or transitions 
maintaining a steady view on the content presented which collectively provides an overview of React Foundry's capabilities and implementation details. How good is that? Love it. So you can simply try, you know, sort of transcribe your videos. Pretty cool. So that's it, guys. Uh, most of the code you can find on their model card. I think I have used almost all of it with very, very minor cosmetic changes, which you can check from the video. But all in all, really good stuff. I think I will make another video around specifically around OCR and I will share it with you soon. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.